Welcome Brainers! In this video, we're going to show you how to quickly set up WSL and run any Linux subsystem in a Windows PC. I'll be using Windows 11, but these steps work perfectly in Windows 10 as well. Well, Windows Subsystem for Linux, popularly known as WSL, is a feature of Windows that allows users to get into a Linux environment and run Linux apps without the need for a virtual machine or dual booting. Let's jump into action. Step 1. Install WSL. Please search and open the Microsoft Store app. Search for WSL. You should get Windows Subsystem for Linux, the one from Microsoft. Please tap on Get. This now downloads and completes the WSL installation. Step 2. Install Linux Distro. Search for your favorite distro. For this demo, I'm going to install Ubuntu, so let me search for Ubuntu LTS. LTS stands for Long-Term Support, which is usually more reliable and stable. For your case, you can search for the distro that you are looking for. For example, Kali, Debian, and SUSE are some of the popular choices available here. Please tap on Get. This might take some time for the status to change, usually it'll change to Owned, Installed, and finally, to Open. You might need to wait for some time, or otherwise close and reopen the Microsoft Store. Now my app status has changed to Open, this confirms the installation has completed. Step 3. Turn on Features. Please search and open Turn Windows Features on or off. Over here, please enable Windows Subsystem for Linux. Along with that enable the Virtual Machine Platform. Select OK and wait till the features are enabled. Now we need to restart the PC for all these changes to take effect. Post restart, please search and open the Linux distro that you have installed, in my case it's Ubuntu. I'm finally at Linux prompt. Let me try some of the Linux commands and operations. All work well. What's more, you can even SSH to a remote Linux server. Let me see if I could SSH to my Linux server hosted in the AWS cloud. Yes, everything is working as expected. I hope it was helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another helpful video.